Kicking off the second half of March with an absolute bang, we got the SB Dunk Low Aisa Lial. Now these are supposed to have a skate shop drop on the 19th, but the sneakers drop for them is going to be on the 20th. These are dropping for just $125. Now, if you don't remember, I made a quick short video on these not too long ago where I actually talked about the backstory for these. Basically, Aisa Liao has been one of the youngest female skaters in history to conquer a women's final on the Street League Skateboarding World Tour, but she also went viral after her notorious kickflip video down some stairs, which is still pretty awesome to this day. Anyway, in addition to this pair of shoes having an awesome backstory, they do look really cool too, and they're very unique with some unique accessories on the laces too but if you don't want them in your collection for personal you could also expect these to be very profitable with a very good to great margin so you definitely want to go for these either way personally I need these in my collection of course you're gonna want to try to get these on Nike sneakers on the 20th but also expect skate shops to have early shock drops on their websites like they usually do so definitely make sure to pay attention to your monitors for all skate shops if you need reliable and fast monitors for skate shop websites and all websites for the matter that drop limited products check out the link in the description or scan the qr code then on march 21st for 115 dollars we're getting to see the return of the dunk low plum a lot of people really like this dunk low it looks almost like an sb but it actually is not but it does have a really low price like an sb at just 115 dollars which is also going to help the margin on these because yes these actually still do appear to be quite profitable there's a lot of demand for this colorway a lot of people really like it and i definitely do not blame them as of now it's looking like you might be able to make a decent margin so nothing too crazy but definitely a drop you should go for especially in the larger sizes then on the 21st for $140 we are going to finally be seeing the trophy room Jordan 1 low home and away pack release well we might not actually see it released and I'm not even entirely joking because they might just end up being backdoored well the one good thing is that only the home pair is trophy room exclusive which means only trophy room is going to be drop or should I say backdooring them but when it comes to the away pair that's the pair with the black swoosh that is going to be releasing elsewhere too which I'm pretty sure is just going to be Nike maybe some other boutiques but I'm pretty sure it's just gonna be Nike so let's hope that they do some kind of a unique release method when it comes to those now when it came to the release for the last trophy room Jordan one, Nike decided to do exclusive access but this time around might be different anyway when it comes to both of these pairs you could expect both to be extremely profitable with an incredible margin full throttle without a doubt then in less exciting news on March 22nd for $130 the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Adidas Superstar shell toe is gonna be dropping now similar to some other Adidas shoes that have had themes like say the home alone pair I would expect these to probably end up bricking we'll see as we get closer but I'm not optimistic mystic as of right now then on the 23rd for 150 dollars the ama manier jordan airship pe greenstone is going to be dropping now considering the last manier collab for airships with black bricked i'd say these probably will too they're even less universal unless they end up being super limited i would say these are going to just be personals we'll see of course also on the 23rd for 210 dollars the jordan 9 powder blue or unc colorway is going to be dropping now even though jordan 9s don't have a ton of demand typically when it does come to this white and blue colorway i can see these doing well locally at least for sizes 11 and above especially if you have no tax but definitely nothing too crazy overall it just might be some brick profit in those very large sizes but what i will say if you do need a pair of jordan nines in your collection this is definitely one of the best colorways then on march 30th for 180 dollars we'll be seeing the jordan one high og craft ivory drop like most jordan ones without classic colorways i would have to say these are just going to be personals and you could probably get these for below retail if you are patient as well now also throughout march don't forget that we also should have some new yeezys dropping now as of now we don't know for sure which pairs we're going to be seeing but i will keep you guys updated so make sure you subscribe and enable post notifications and don't forget i have free sneaker guides and updates on this link right here if you scan the qr code or check the description below this way you can stay 100 percent updated for completely free or you could even consider joining in if you're looking for a profitable side hustle that goes far beyond just sneaker reselling too other than that though have a fantastic rest of your day and of course good luck on all these incredible releases we have for march